this week's Money Metals podcast, helping gold and silver investors during these turbulent times. Now, this week's Market Wrap, with commentary and analysis from Money Metals Exchange, the company named Best Overall Precious Metals Dealer by Investopedia. Welcome to this week's Market Wrap podcast. I'm Mike Leeson. After knocking on the door of new record highs over the past few weeks, the gold market is pulling back. Bulls had faced a lot of overhead resistance in futures trading. It finally proved to be too much to overcome, at least for the near term. As of this Friday recording, the monetary metal is registering a weekly decline of 1.8% to trade at $1,984 per ounce. Silver is bouncing back a little bit here today and is now down just half a percent this week to bring spot prices to $24.12 an ounce. Platinum is actually up 1.1% to come in at $1,081. And finally, Palladium is rallying pretty strongly here today and now shows a slight 0.6% gain since last Friday's close to check in at $1,568 per ounce. Metals markets may see more choppiness until they find solid technical support levels or get a catalyst to spark buying. Debt ceiling drama and the potential for more dominoes to fall on the banking system could certainly drive price action in precious metals in the days ahead. Longer term, the fundamentals of tight supplies and rising demand plus unrelenting currency depreciation should drive metals prices higher. Although gold has recently garnered attention for trading above $2,000 per ounce, other metals that are currently being overlooked may deliver bigger percentage gains when they get going on the upside. One sleeper metal that has a lot of potential is platinum. According to a new report from the World Platinum Investment Council, the catalytic metal faces a huge supply deficit this year. Platinum output will decline by 1%, even as demand is forecast to surge by 28%. As a consequence, estimates of platinum shortfall have been revised upward to 983,000 ounces. For many years, platinum has been out of favor within the automotive industry as automakers opted for palladium and catalytic converters. But that is now changing as platinum benefits from substitution and sees renewed demand in car factories. Meanwhile, other promising new uses for platinum are moving forward, such as hydrogen fuel cell batteries. Although palladium prices have been cut in half since their peak, platinum still trades at a discount to its sister metal. Platinum also continues to sell for a steep discount to gold. Historically, platinum has often commanded a premium over both metals. Investors who anticipate that happening again in the future are taking advantage of platinum's low prices today. Although the market for investment-grade platinum bullion isn't as deep or liquid as it is for gold, pure platinum coins and bars are readily available from Money Metals Exchange. In other news, states across the country are moving to block the implementation of a central bank digital currency. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis recently signed legislation to prevent a CBDC from being mandated in commerce within the Sunshine State. DeSantis spoke with veteran journalist John Stossel about the threats posed by a digital dollar. President Biden and the media are excited that the dollar could go digital. Central bank digital currencies. The world is going to see a functioning CBDC very soon. A CBDC, that's a national digital currency controlled by the feds. When you use your wallet to pay for something, the fed would take the digital cash out of your wallet and deposit it into the merchants. I'll read from the president's executive order on responsible development of digital assets. This will protect consumers, investors, and the environment. That last one's a tell because I think they would impose certain criteria. You're filling up too much tank of gas. Wait a minute, climate change, you can't be doing that. You bought another firearm? No, no, no. And if you do buy or do the wrong thing, they can easily cut off your money. They want to move to a cashless society, which would basically mean the Federal Reserve, Treasury Department would have supervisory jurisdiction over all of your transactions. State legislators and governors who want to protect their constituents from central bank digital currency can go a step further by also helping them seek refuge from the unsound monetary policies of the federal government. State-level sound money legislation includes repealing all sales and income taxes on precious metals transactions and recognizing gold and silver as legal tender. 
Already this year, several states have passed some form of sound money legislation, with some also moving to establish bullion depositories that will help safeguard state assets and pensions. With the U.S. government on the brink of default and the banking system being propped up by Fed funny money bailouts, states and individuals who establish sound money reserves on their own can become more resilient to risk. Well, that would do it for this week. Be sure to check back next Friday for next weekly Market Wrap podcast. Until then, this has been Mike Leeson with Money Metals Exchange. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this week's Money Metals podcast. Be sure to come back next week. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast through iTunes. For answers to all of your questions, or to discreetly and securely buy or sell gold or silver coins, bars, and rounds, call 1-800-800-1865 or visit www.moneymetals.com. Our knowledgeable and no-pressure specialists are standing by to answer your call during business hours, Monday through Saturday. Or you can lock in your order online, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, visit us at www.moneymetals.com or call 1-800-800-1865.